When you're in a liquidity pool position on ThorSwap, you're probably going to want to track your yield over time, and Thor yield is the best place to do that. So this video is going to walk you through exactly how to do that. So you can just head to thoryield.com or you can go directly to app.thoryield.com and there's also links to download the iOS app and the Android app versions. And those are great because once you load your accounts, you can just check your positions on the go and everything is saved right in the app. On desktop, you just go over to LP accounts and here you would just add your chain addresses for what you added to the pools from. So I'll go over a handful of examples, but first let's just add some new liquidity to show you that as well real quick. So back on ThorSwap, let's deposit and let's deposit this rune that I have with a little bit of UST and I'll deposit symmetrically. So that means I'm adding equal of both sides and I'll have exposure to both UST and rune. Let's just go ahead and add this much and confirm this. And let's add one more actually. I have some BUSD here. Let's add this as an example asymmetrically. So I'm going to add just BUSD, but on the back end, I will have 50% exposure to Rune. So no matter how I add to this liquidity pool, it's always a 50 50 split. You can enter already as a 50 50 split, or if you add from just BUSD, for example, or just Rune, it's all going to be 50 50 exposure on the back end. So let's add this asymmetrical example as well. We're going to confirm the transaction. So we've now added a symmetrical liquidity position and an asymmetrical liquidity position. And we can check on those over at liquidity and we can see our positions here. And these links link directly out to Thor yield. So this is always one way to get there. If you already have your wallet connected to Thor swap. So these examples are, of course, brand new, and then we'll walk through some others. But let's first look at this symmetrical UST rune pair. And because I've just added this, of course, my earnings are essentially zero. But here's just a breakdown of how you'll go over your, your positions. So most of this is pretty self-explanatory, so I won't bore you with that too much. Current value earnings, stuff like that. The main things to pay attention to are your LP versus HODL and your LP versus HODL APY. And the reason these are important is because this is actually how your liquidity pool position is performing versus just holding the two assets. Whereas if you're just looking at value, then you're also seeing the price fluctuations of the assets. This is just going to show you how much you're actually earning, not the price fluctuations. And there's all kinds of more details. This will make a lot more sense once we go over an example that's been running for a little bit longer, but just wanna show you how to get to it. Same thing would apply for this asymmetrical example. And here you can see, even though I added this much from just BUSD, I actually have 50-50 exposure to both BUSD and Rune. That is the case for any liquidity pool on ThorChain and ThorSwap. And when you add asymmetrical, you're going to see these stats based on the asymmetrical add. So this is versus just holding the single asset, even though you have the dual exposure. But you can toggle this to see the performance from the actual 50-50 start point, which is a bit more of a fair way of looking at it because this is like comparing to holding the 50-50 split of the two assets, which is more fair when comparing with liquidity pooling. And just a tip, by the way, this one's only down a bit because when you add asymmetrical, you're effectively doing a swap of half. So there is a bit of slippage fee that's happening there. So let's go over some examples that have actually got a bit more data. Let's go to LP accounts, and here you'll just select the chain and enter the address for what you want to track. If you added symmetrically, you can always just put your Thor address. If you added asymmetrically, then you are going to have to put the address that you added from, of course. So if you added from just Luna or UST, for example, that's not going to be tied to your Thor chain address, so you'd have to add your Terra address. But for a symmetrical add, so you added some UST and some Rune, then you could add either address and it would be able to pull up the position. So let's look at this example for a Terra address. You can also make an account and save it if you want to, uh, or you could just go straight to view analytics. And so this LP position is in the Rune UST pool. So of course it's always 50-50 balance. You can see the total value right here. We can see the value that was originally added. 
this total gain and loss is due to the price fluctuations of the asset. So this means Rune has dropped a bit since this was started. But the LP versus HODL is how you're doing versus if you had just been holding 50% Rune and 50% UST. So this is actually performing very well, and this is earning more in terms of Rune and UST. So let's look in a little more detail. You can see this position was started 11 days ago, and the LP versus HODL is already up 1.68%, which is effectively an APY yearly of 73%. And you can see what's redeemable here versus what was actually added. So you can see that the amount of Rune is higher now than what was added. The amount of UST is less than what was added. And this is due to the constant rebalancing of the pool back to 50-50. And this shows it clearly. We've gained 141 rune, but lost 578 UST, which works out quite positively over just these 11 days. Let's look at another example just to go through some more complex things like impermanent loss protection. Let's add this Ethereum address. And this one you'll see is pulling multiple positions because this ETH address is linked to a Rune address, which is also linked to this Bitcoin LP and this Luna LP. So let's just break these down in a bit more detail. This one is a Rune ETH, so always 50-50 Rune and ETH, though what was added was only ETH. So in this case, the LP versus HODL is compared to having held just ETH. If we switch this to look at the symmetrical view, then now we're seeing a clearer picture of what it would actually be compared to had you just held the 50-50 assets, which is really what the LP is doing. So in this case, this position is nearly a year old, and the actual APY has been about 12%, and they're up $1,400 LP versus HODL 50-50. Actual gain and loss is down. This is just due to price fluctuation of ETH or Rune and rebalancing. So this part is factoring in dollar value asset price fluctuation, whereas this is just showing you how much of the actual coins you are gaining. So here you can see what was added in terms of 50-50, but what's redeemable is much higher. So the actual gains in terms of the coins have, have performed well. Now, where impermanent loss protection kicks in is if you had been better off just holding the two assets 50-50 versus LPing. And in simple terms, impermanent loss can happen due to the prices of the two assets moving in a very uncorrelated way, which due to the rebalancing ends up such that you have less value than if you had just held. Now, the protection will kick in if that loss due to IL is not canceled out by the gains of all the rewards you're getting. So you gain 1% protection per day until you have full 100% protection at 100 days. And if at 100 days your LP versus HODL was negative, then that difference would be what you're protected against. And this applies the same for symmetrical or asymmetrical. They're all based on the symmetrical 50-50 starting point. So even though this was a asymmetrical add, you're not guaranteed against the single side that you added, rather you're guaranteed against the initial split that you added. So here's also a symmetrical rune ETH, and you'll see the APY is essentially the same, which makes sense because it's about the same age and it's still a 50-50 split like this one, even though this one was an asymmetrical add. So almost the same stats here if you look through. Now this one is 50-50 rune BTC added symmetrically and it's only five days old so the lp versus hodl apy isn't showing just yet you can see the added value and the current value which is down just due to unfortunate current market uh situation but you can see the earnings are actually performing incredibly well so the lp versus hodl is already up a lot and to see the breakdown of that you can see 1177 rune to 1257 rune and 0.2469 BTC to 0.2686 BTC. So this would of course not be, there would be no protection needed because this is doing very profitable. 
Now let's look at this Rune Luna Symmetrical LP. And this one's brand new, but it will be good for the sake of the example because it's currently actually down in terms of LP versus HODL. And this is just because the last couple of days have been very volatile. So we can see in this case, because this is negative, that actually means that the impermanent loss due to the rebalancing is greater than the earnings that have accrued so far. So this position is only two days old, so the protection is only about 2%, and this would be paid out when it was withdrawn. But let's say hypothetically this was already at 100 days and 100% protection, but it was at these numbers. That would mean when you withdraw, you're essentially reimbursed this value in terms of rune, just rebalanced into your position that you are withdrawing, and that is the impermanent loss protection kicking in. So if you had been better off just holding uh, after 100 days, then that entire difference would be reimbursed when you withdraw. So hopefully that helps clear up how to analyze your LP positions. I also would recommend you can just bookmark your addresses. You can add them to your account. You can also download the mobile app so you can just check these on the go and have them saved right in your Thor Yield app.